Hello, welcome to a GibbsCAN demonstration for Midwest CAM Solutions. This demonstration is for AFR multi-level holes using saved processes. This is a solid that I built in GibbsCAM. Each one of these counter bars has a different size and a different depth. On the back roll, we have quarter 20 taps and on the front roll we have some reamed holes. I'm going to hide my dimensions and my geometry. First I'm going to go to my hole manager and before I run AFR I'm going to go to preferences. Your preferences will stay set as last used. In my grouping dialog here, I'm going to custom group based on same drill size because the counter bores are all unique. Now I run AFR and when I group them, we'll have three groups. If I click this group, I can pre-sort them right now before I get too far. That way they're all sorted. Don't have to redo anything. And we can click one of the groups like this middle group is the back threaded holes, we can just go grab a process. We can use this process on any quarter 20 thread. Just load it in, do it, they're done. We'll grab another process now for the uh, counter bores. For a quarter inch drill with a quarter inch ML it does mill bores. We'll select that group, do that. Then I'll grab the last process for the reamed holes. and click the group and do that one. Now I'm going to sort the ops so all the spotting happens at the same time and tools will reorganize there. Uh, and if I go back to the uh, counter boring to show you, this is a mill bore process that's automatic. It knows the size of the hole. You don't have to change anything. This is the process for the mill bore. If I wanted a helix bore, I could do a redo. Now it spirals it and your pitch is controlled in your Z pitch. But it knows the diameter, it knows the depths of every one of these features with just selecting them. And you can do a mill bore or a helix bore with just a click. If you right click on the feature and edit the hole, this is what the hole looks like. If I said it was larger, it actually changes the graphic image there. And if I redo it, now I have a larger counter bore. I'll undo that. So it's real easy to adjust and to use these features over and over again with different parts and not having to redefine the wheel every day. So now we spotted all the holes. It's drilling them, it's tapping them, drilling those holes. It's doing a uh, mill bore or a spiral mill. It goes through the mills all those out. And then it's just going to ream the other holes. Now every one of these holes were done like I saved it last time. I had my tap coming up a little bit so it didn't hit and the through holes are going th through based on the AFR data so there's really nothing to type, nothing to manage. It is pretty slick, real time saving, real accurate, precise the first time and every time. So once you create a process for a tap or a counter bore or a reamed hole, uh, you're pretty much done. You can use it over and over again every day. But this concludes a little presentation. Uh, hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day. Bye now.